So at the end of last year in 2020, it felt like there were so many new releases literally just all the time. And it felt like that momentum was going to continue into 2021. And I think it certainly has. We've had a lot of sneakers that are really good that have come out already. And we have plenty more that are coming out on the horizon here, including this pair, which I decided to pick up a little bit early to take a look at. The original release date was a, supposed to be around the end of January, but it looks like it got pushed back to the end of February. But this right here is the Air Jordan 4 Taupe Haze that I believe officially drops on February 27th for a retail price of 200 bucks. I went and grabbed this from Stadium Goods and was really glad to pick it up, but I gotta say that I'm pretty disappointed with how the sneaker is in person for a number of different reasons that I'm excited to share with you guys here. But that doesn't take away from the overall look of the shoe. It's still a good shoe, I wanna convey that, but there are some things you definitely need to know before you go and pick up this shoe for yourself, because I was definitely surprised. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep it locked to the channel here for all my future reviews. I'm here on YouTube almost every single day, sharing my new pickups with you guys here. So this is the Jordan 4 Topaz. We're going to take a look at it both up close and on feet, literally lay out everything you're going to need to know about the sneaker. So let's get it started and dive right in. So getting it started here, I do want to jump in with some of the quick facts to lay out everything you're going to need to know about the sneaker, but I do want to mention this first. Of course, this objectively is a really good looking sneaker. I think most people would agree that this shoe looks really good, especially on feet. Looks really clean. I love this kind of darker, kind of olive color that the sneaker actually is. It's called that topaz, but it really looks more like a brown kind of olive and really does resemble the friends and family Travis Scott Jordan 4 that we've seen teased. But now let's get into the facts. So we'll start out with the sizing and the fit. So in terms of that, this is an Air Jordan 4. It's going to fit just like any other Air Jordan 4 you may have had. In terms of comfort, it's going to feel a little stiff right out of the box, as a lot of Jordan Retros do, but as you wear it in, it's going to get a bit more comfortable and feel a lot better on your foot. And finally, in terms of the pricing, I did mention this comes out for retail of 200 bucks. The release date did just get pushed back to supposedly the end of February, so we'll see if that changes again. But right now, if you're looking to pick it up, you can buy it on the resale market for right around that $400 mark. So as we take a look at the shoe, I do want to mention what I was talking about in terms of why I'm disappointed with this sneaker. Again, I said objectively, I think the shoe looks really good, really clean on feet, but my disappointments lie in some of the materials. As you take a closer look at the shoe, we can start out with the lateral side. You can see it's made up of primarily two different materials, one of which being a really nice suede, and then this other type of material called this maybe cracked leather. That's exactly what it looks like. You can see it's all cracked and honestly just looks a little weird. I, I couldn't exactly see this on the photos. I didn't know it was exactly going to be like this. It was hard to tell. And in person, I'm just really not a huge fan of that. I think from far away, the shoe looks really good. But in terms of the materials, I was definitely a little disappointed. Supposedly, that upper layer of the cracked leather can come off. That was recently discovered on a couple of the blogs, and we saw that news come out. So maybe that's a possibility to wear this out over time or even take it off yourself. So it's an interesting shoe, and I can't knock Jordan for that. You know, I definitely appreciate them trying different things. I can't say I've seen this cracked leather on too many other Jordans before, but to me, I wasn't totally expecting Expecting it and I'm not a huge fan of it so I just wanted to make sure you guys could see that and understand what I'm talking about from that point of view. So as for the rest of the shoe, you can see it's entirely made up of that topaz color, black, white, and that infrared 23, bright red color behind the tongue. So from the lateral, the medial side, you can see the topaz, you can see the black, black on the laces, you can see the black for the outsole and the midsole. We can take a look at the outsole here, it looks pretty cool, classic Jordan 4 design. The white around the back heel and the air bubble on the sneaker that wraps around to the medial side. You got black laces on the sneaker. You got that black netting running up the fore all the way up through the tongue. On the top of the tongue, you can see it's taupe haze. You can really see more of that cracked leather and that infrared 23 Jumpman with flight written below it in black. As for inside the sneaker, you can see it's that got that infrared 23 color behind the tongue. Air Jordan written there, of course infrared 23 on the insole and black for the inner liner. We can also check out the size tag inside the shoe to get the numbers and information there. As far as the box goes, the box is actually really impressive and honestly one of my favorite parts on the shoe. It's really pretty cool. We haven't seen too many crazy boxes like this. This almost feels like a brand new box. Um, so definitely cool. Love to see that from Jordan. But as for the sneaker itself, you know, aside from the materials, objectively this shoe just looks really good. I love this colorway. I was just a little disappointed with the materials. But as for a final rating and opinion on a scale out of 10 of where this sneaker is going to get chalked up for me, I still think this has got to be an easy 8.5 out of 10. The shoe is way too clean, it looks way too nice, and I think a lot of people are really going to be going after this on its release day, so I'm definitely a big fan, just was disappointed with the materials. So listen, this was the Taupe Haze Air Jordan 4. We've taken a full look at it, both up close and on feet. 
And objectively, this is a really good sneaker. I think a lot of people are gonna go for it. It's gonna be an instant sellout when it does drop at the end of February here. But now you know exactly what is going on with the sneaker. So let me know in the comments down below if you are looking to grab this at the end of February. I wanna thank you guys for stopping by the channel today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I am at Steve Natto on all social media channels. And I will see you guys again here tomorrow. Thank you.